Hello there, this is Sadie, and we are going to continue the streak again. We to beat NGA last time, and then we immediately rolled NGB to play next. It's a pity that we didn't roll NGC instead, which is a much better ship, but I suppose we do need to beat all 28 of them, and we might as well get NGB out of the way now as any other time. Um, this ship is a piece of garbage. It's one of the worst in the game. You probably already knew that if you played this game enough to actually be watching these videos. Um, the ship starts with only one crew member, although the, really the big problem with the ship is that the weapons suck. The heavy ion, like the heavy laser's great, but the heavy ion is very slow. It can only take one shield bubble down, and because of you know how long it takes to spin up, almost everything at the beginning of the game will shoot before you do, and it just results in you taking damage. We're going to take this quite slowly. We want to get through these early sectors. As long as we don't have any disaster fights, we can hopefully do that. I'm definitely venting this the O2 to below 50% to try to redirect shots onto my oxygen. We do have system repair drones, so it's quite safe to do that. Vent that room as well. That'll get me to below 50. Hmm, maybe I don't want to vent my doors. Just in case I need to run into them, in case of borders. Can I actually get it to below 50 with just these? I think so. Yeah, we're good. Might actually do that. There's no point in getting it any lower than, like, 49%. That's all we need to ensure that the O2 can be, tar can be smart targeted. Let's look around. Okay, this is just a very ordinary sector. We go there first to see loads. Let's make sure things are tracking. Yes, they are. The only problem with doing this, I suppose, is that I can't dash my NG to weapons, so actually let's do it the different way. But then if I do that, I can't dash them to doors. I know there are a lot of players who are of the opinion that you want to dash to weapons during the FTL jump so that you get faster weapon charge, because your, your evade on this ship sucks anyway. It's 10% is actually the lowest of any ship in the game to start with, because you have one crew and level one engine. Um... Do I want to leave that option open? Part of the problem with doing the dash to weapons, it's not just that you lose any uh, evade, it's that you stop charging the FTL. So if you run to weapons and then the fight goes really badly, you haven't charged the FTL at all. So I'm not too keen on doing it. I think I'm gonna not... I think I'm gonna vent up here for now. I'd rather just redirect their shots away from my weapons. Maybe once I can get my shields up, I can start dashing back and forth, depending on the fight. Okay, let's hail them. We get a fight. This isn't too bad. The Zolt shield is annoying. But the Heavy Iron will actually chew through that fairly quickly, and these weapons don't sync up that well. On NGB, you really just desperately need the early fights to be decent. Yeah, this pike beam's gonna do nothing, and here we'll get a chance to uh, actually take a weapon out. Eventually, their two weapons would sync up, but it'd take a while. And now they won't. I think this is a chance at a double scrap reward, because the pre-battle text said there was a refugee ship that this was chasing, I think, so. Hopefully we can do that. Good thing, the only good thing about the heavy ion is when, if you hit and the heavy laser is already spun up, it does ionize the shields long enough to get two shots through. Well, we win a battle with NGB without taking any damage, and it was indeed a double scrap reward, so that's a good first jump. Um, we have a store. Do we go right to the store to see whether or not we can... Let's see, how much stuff do we have to sell? 25, 15, 27 if necessary. I mean, we could get a flak or a burst laser too if it was there. 
we could potentially get hacking, although I don't know that I'd be keen on doing that. I feel like I'd need to sell too much. Do I take a distress beacon? We have reasonable distress options. My concern would be if it turns out to be a fight and we die because we haven't damage buffered our shields, we feel very stupid. I think I go to the store. And hope that there's a good, cheap weapon. Ideally a flak. Okay, there isn't, but there's an ion blast and there's another heavy laser. Can we get both of those? It's the one power weapon emporium. I'd love to get the defensive drone one too, but then I can't get weapons, and weapons are more important. I mean, we definitely sell drone reactor booster, and we grab this heavy laser. In order to get the Ion Blast, we need to either sell both system repair drones or a system repair drone and anti-personnel drone, or we need to sell the Heavy Ion. I suppose there's no harm in selling the Heavy Ion, considering that we only have three weapon slots anyway. This is a very... this weapon pa this setup doesn't work so well against two shield bubbles getting this, but, like, it'll serve us well through the early sectors. There we go. This is a little bit better as far as weapons go. It's a lot faster. We actually now have a chance to take weapons offline. So it's delayed our shield upgrades, which is unfortunate. But I think it's the right choice. There's the other store. We don't want to go there. So we just want to hit as many jumps as we can. I'd like to hit the distress beacon, but I don't know how to do that without doubling back. So I'm not going to. We're going to go there, 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 and just hit as many jumps as we can before the exit. Oh, for fuck's sake, shield hack event. Well, fortunately our weapons are very fast. We have three different chances to knock this burst two off. I maybe should have run my NG to weapons here. Nope. Thank goodness. Okay, now we start working on our shields. Absolutely no doubt about that. Listen to the offer. Okay, so that's... Okay, we probably aren't going there. I don't know how we could get there. Could we do it if we go one, two, three, four, five, six? I don't think we have six jumps. No, we don't. So, that's a waste. Unfortunate. Aid the civilian ship. Please give us a double reward. Nice, we dodged. We haven't even taken any damage yet. Yeah, against one shield... Um, ships, this is quite a good setup. I'm just not entirely sure how well it works against two shields unless we get hacking. We get a crew member, that's really, really good. And we get a crew member who knows how to fight, so we can probably sell the anti personnel drone as soon as we get a chance. On most ships, getting a crew member is not something I particularly care for, at, although here it's not in place of scrap, so it's like, whatever. You know, here it's just a free crew. Um, do I make the Mantis the pilot so that my NG can run around and fix things? I think not, because we have a system repair drone. So I think I want my Mantis to go on weapons.
I don't know whether we can now vent enough to keep our O2 below 50%. Doesn't look like it. If that's the case, we might as well not vent at all. I don't want to vent through doors. Or weapons. Uh, asteroid field, and we haven't got our shields up yet. That isn't good. This will also stop us from upping our shields after this fight. Great, great. Well, they dodge both. The shield buffer here absolutely urgent. Are you going to go after the frigging... Okay, you are going to shield first. Thank God for that. We can vent the med bay. Okay. Oh, God. That's not a good position for a Mantis to be in. If you just get out of there. Get the NG to go and fix things. Uh, keep the heavy lasers up. Actually, the Ion Blast is about to fire, so I'll use that, and then I'll switch. I think, actually, my second weapon will burn out anyway. Uh, you go to piloting and keep charging the FTL. I should have already done that. Shoot their shields out, then they can die to asteroids. Thank you, Repair Drone. Thank God. We kept the weapon up. Okay, we'll survive this. This is a very bad fight. My crew are the wrong way round at the moment, but I'm going to keep him here so we can keep charging the FTL. Now we'll start healing. We have enough scrap to get our shields up, but we can't do it right now. We have three jumps in this sector, I think. Yes, we do, so. There, 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 and then out. Scrap the debris. Nice! That's a high scrap reward. It also means we don't have to fight anything, which means we can just immediately get our shields up. So, now we start saving 80 scrap. Try to get hacking. Nothing there, unfortunately. We definitely have another jump here. Yeah? Yes, we do. Solar flare. And a fight. System repair drone, fix that. Nice dodging. Prepare drone, come help me out. Oh, there's a fire in my shield, so please put that out. Out we go. Investigate the battlefield. Well, we didn't get anything there. Okay, so what did we make? We made 108 scrap in that sector. That's not too bad. And we did manage to get a weapons upgrade. These aren't great choices for sector 2. I'm going to go Mantis. I've said that I don't think Uncharted Nebula is as bad as people say it is, but my data that I have, for some reason it's really, really bad in Sector 2. I'm not sure why, but I've been to nine of them and I've not made very much crap in any of them, so. And there's a possibility of no stores. We also have better third sectors if we go Mantis. Hopefully we can fight some weak ships that we can train against and crew kill and that kind of thing. Um, 
this is mostly a dead end. I guess we go here just to spot if the store is there, and then we go up. Now, one of these. Right. And they're right in my doors. Get my anti-personnel drone up and start venting them. Can we stop them from breaking my system repair drone? I doubt it. Which is very frustrating, we lose a drone part for nothing. We couldn't make the system repair drone leave the room, otherwise we'd have been fine. You get into there, start charging the FTL. I think we'll hit, take one solar flare. Power this, see if it runs anywhere. Yes, it does. Funnily enough, you don't actually need to power the anti-personnel drone itself for it to heal. You just need power in the drone system and it to be in the drone room, and it will still heal. Which is thankful, since that thing slows, heals so slowly. Okay, there isn't a store there, so let's go up. Um, I guess we take that. We are using drones, we're not using missiles, but like, could we make some scrap, please? Okay, this is more like it. We can crew kill this ship. So, beat you down to below 15 hit points. Run away in terror. The Mantis is too strong. Flee. We'll kill the second person when they join, and then we'll kill the first with our lasers. But I'm probably going to train dodges and weapon skill against this ship. I don't like training dodges against ships with only one weapon, especially when I only have level one engines. But we're playing NGB. I need to take every possible way of getting advantages that I can. Let's smash this fool. I don't actually get weapon skill right now because there's somebody distracting me. So, yeah. So, we just need to remember now that there is a crew member who is badly wounded in their piloting room. And we will crew kill it. Very easily. But, we'll do that once we have full skill. So, I will meet you back once our weapons have fired many, many, many times, and once we've got a load of dodges. So, see you in a bit. Okay, that's taken about a half hour, but we're back. I have moved my Mantis into engines to make getting pilot training faster once he got max weapon skill, and then I just decided I might as well fully cross-train him. So, we have a fully engine and weapons trained Mantis. There, one crew member is in... Piloting, so we get the we get the crew kill. I looked at the map already. The store is here. We have enough to buy hacking right now because we could sell both of these, but we don't want to have to sell both of them. So we're going to take more jobs. Go here, here, store, there, and hopefully we get two more lots of scrap. But we don't. We are not opening that up. We could lose one of our only crew members. Okay, we've got a fight here. I'll keep the weapon charge. We'll probably take one missile. Actually, run you into there now. Yeah, we took one missile. It's fine.
12 scrap. Mm, there's another store down there. I right? didn't make an enormous amount of difference. I can't go to both of them. I suppose the pathing is very marginally better for this bottom one, so we'll go there. So what do we have here? Please have hacking. Okay, they have hacking. We have to sell one of the drones to get it. Which do I want to get rid of? It feels like I probably want to get rid of the anti-personnel drone. I was thinking about this. One of the problems with having the crew around this way, I guess, maybe I should have reversed them when that training opportunity came up. But if I have the NG in here, and we don't have a system repair drone, our ability to get... Um, to repair things is very, very limited. I basically need to run the pilot out. Whereas we've got the Mantis out ready to fight borders, so I will go like this. We are still weak against borders, but what can you do? Get hacking. We want to get hacking up to level 2 by the end of the sector so we can shield hack, and that will make fights actually more feasible. I'm going to buy one more bit of fuel. <laughs> Asteroid field. <coughs> Asteroids helped us out there, but we still take some damage. Comfortable win there. We need one more lot of scrap, basically, to get hacking up to level two. We'd like to upgrade our engines once to make running away a little bit easier. Um, then we really just want a weapon to replace the ion blast. Like, a flak would be ideal. Like, these can deal with, with two shields because we'll be hacking them. Okay, good. We've got a civilian ship to aid. I'm going to hold my hacking drones for when we need to actually fight enemies with two shield bubbles. We should be able to knock this burst laser 2 off before it fires. Yep. You get up there. We can't crew kill these people because of the dangerous weapons and the med bay. Nice. We could potentially use that instead of the Ion Blast, but we don't have enough ammo to make that work. Uh, do that as well. I think we only have one more jump. Yes, we do. It's close to being two, but it isn't actually two. I'd like more power as well, so I can always have level 2 in hacking in case we need it, because we probably are going to need it most of the time. Okay, well we can crew kill this ship, so we just need to deal with the borders first. They can't hurt us. NG and Mantis against NG and Mantis. Let's try to vent them out so we can fight them in the med bay. Turn this off right now. There we go. We'll easily kill these guys. Now, it's possible we could kill these guys without hacking by hitting their O2. I want to see what level it is first. But I don't know what crew they have over there, because we have no sensors. Okay, that's level 202. We're not going to really be able to do this without just hacking it. Like, they could easily have an Angie over there, and then it's definitely not happening. Sure, just dodge all three of my shots, you stupid asshole. Let's wait until our hack comes back, because they're going to recharge all their O2. Ooh. 
There we go. Oh good, they're running a mantis in. I guess we didn't need to. I mean, it's a mantis sector, so it wasn't unreasonable to guess they might have a mantis over there. But I don't know what the, even what their other crew member is, or whether that's... Actually, I want the Ion Blast. Like, this might not... They might have an NG in this slot, and, you know, if it had been reversed, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. So, we spent a hacking drone we probably didn't need to spend. They should start taking damage now. I think the Mantis will fix this. I timed that badly. Whatever, let's hack. They'll just die while we're hacking. And I don't have enough scrap to get power. I am literally one short. Okay, NG Homeworlds or Abandoned Sector. We're gonna go NG Homeworlds here. Or should we? Yeah, I think we go NG Homeworlds here. We have NGs for blue options. Abandoned Sector 3 is not as bad to Selenius Bombers don't turn up there, but they can often be quite empty. I found Abandoned Sectors are one of the ones most affected by whether you have long-range scanners or not. Whereas NG Homeworlds, it's basically the same regardless. We'll go NG Homeworlds. The only downside of going here, I think, is that more ships are likely to have defensive drones, so we'll have a hard time hacking through, but that's... That's minor, we can deal with that. Let's go to Distress. search for the ship, and unfortunately we did not get a free weapon. I mean, we have a small bomb to sell. I'm not eager to go to a store just to do that. We can't trade that for anything good. We can use it to get power, but that's about it. I think I'd rather wait and see if we can find another store later in this sector, and we'll actually have some scrap. Although we might be able to get some scrap before this, even though we didn't there. Like, if we hit this and this... We might then be able to jump back to the store and then go here. Doesn't look like it though, we're just getting... I take that trade, even though we kind of need the drones. Okay. The ship's a little dangerous, the glide beam is not ideal. Should I just hack their weapons? We do this, we're likely to um, be able to knock that thing offline, so I think we do that. It does mean we need every one of our shots to hit, but we're going to get numerous opportunities to pull that off. And we only needed one. Let's hit their shields now. Your dodge sucks. Uh, yes, we absolutely take that. Five fuel, max drones, good scrap, and a useful drop. We are now much more protected against missiles. Uh... I'll save scrap for this store instead of going to this one. Or should I try to hit both? If I go here, I could potentially sell, like, small bombs to get me to 70. If really necessary, I could sell system repair drone to get me above 80 if there was, like... Although, actually, if there was, like, a burst laser 2 or something, I could sell the ion blast. I think it is worth going to both stores. <laughs> we could buy another heavy laser, but we're, we're gonna get the charge laser instead. Um, sell the small bomb. Buy the charge laser. I want to get my weapons up, but I can't yet. Should I hold the ion blast purely because of that? We're going to hit another store probably anyway, so I think I will. 
once we get the charge laser in play, that will allow us to use hacking defensively more, and that will be very helpful. That buys us space and time to actually win. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. How many jumps do we have before the exit? At least six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to hit these two, and depending on how much scrap I have, I may dodge the store. Secure the cash. Cool, we get a combat drone. Probably going to keep that for a while, because we're sort of low on projectiles, and having something else that can break shields is very, very helpful, while we just to give us space to, you know, ability to buy time. Depends on what I can get for selling it. Okay, well, we're quite safe in this fight. We put a defensive drone up. They're gonna board us. We need all of our shots to hit. But they would need to have their shots hit and slip past a defensive drone, so... Let's actually shoot at their shields. Cool. Well, the defensive drone failed there. It's fine, we're gonna take this thing offline now. Two damage is tolerable. We set a fire with that last shot. So, if I go to the store now, I think I go to the store because we can sell the combat drone and potentially the ion blast and get quite a bit of scrap. Potentially even the system repair drone if we really had to. Now, do we sell the combat drone? We could use it to buy back a battery. I feel like I want to keep the combat drone as an option. If we fight like a ship with three shield bubbles, it would be helpful to have something else that does shots. I mean, we would, we would hack shields in that event. But having something else that can pop shield bubbles when hacking us down would be very helpful. We could also use it here, but I'm going to save it, because they only have one shield bubble. I'd like to do this without spending any offensive drones, if possible. Shoot these to pop the Zoltan shield. Ooh, shield got up just in time there. Okay, let's turn the O2 on now, because it's getting quite low. And we are currently safe. Give me power. So, two more jumps and then the exit. No. <laughs> I wish now that we'd done it. I'm gonna give this up. It was kinda risky to do that because they might have just given us a map. Yeah, I could have done some, some wheeling and dealing there. made a reasonable amount of scrap in that sector. 
And of course, we got the defensive drone and the combat drone to drop. Um, I think this is a two drone fight. Cause they're running away and they have a missile. So let's hack their shields. They're also boarding us. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to run my mantis to doors. I should have hacked already. That was a mistake. Hit multiple rooms to be more likely to draw the pilot since they're running away. Yeah, double fire in their shield room is very nice. So, ended up being an expensive fight with using double drones, but... We win easily. Get another power bar. Okay, civilian next. Got a nebula to go through. I'm going to go and get myself a drink, and we will continue. I feel like we're in pretty good shape right here. We're not in the... We're not absolutely safe, and particularly we're a little bit concerned about ships with three shield bubbles. We'd like to get another weapon, but as long as we can keep our drone parts up, we're doing pretty well. Another weapon. We'd like to get a different weapon to replace the charge laser, particularly a flak, but we will see if we can do that. Okay, we're back. We'd ideally like to get cloaking this sector. Whether we can manage it, I'm not sure. I think we want to go here and then... Actually, no, we hit these two first to see all of these jumps, then we go into the nebula. We'll eventually see this one when we hit the lower nebula jumps. If there's early stores, we won't be able to get cloaking there. It's Okay, we get a quest. But late stores, we might be able to grind enough scrap by then. We're running a little bit low on fuel because we foolishly didn't buy extra and then we gave some away. There's nothing there, great. And there's a store. Well, do we want to go there? We do that purely to buy fuel, which is not ideal. I'm going to go through the nebula. There's going to be other stores in this sector, so... Uh, no, that's the opposite way around to way, how I want to trade. Please just give me a fight. We've not had a single fight this entire sector, finally. A weapon hack will make us quite safe here. Because we can mess with the Iron Blast too. They only have two shield bubbles, so we don't need to shield hack. If we're going to run out of fuel, I would rather do it in the nebula where the fleet pursuit will be halved. But I mean, I'd rather obviously not do it at all. Yeah, we were too late to knock that off. Sure thing, dodge three of my four shots. We haven't seen another store, so we really need this to give us some fuel, and I'm not sure it's going to. I think this event often just gives you scrap on its own. Yep. Well, we have another heavy laser. We could go triple heavy laser ones if we really wanted to. But, um, you know, we can't fly with heavy, triple heavy lasers. 
Um, let's go here. It gets us furthest ahead and sees the most. Albeit, you know, we need to get fuel there anyway to be able to hit a store. So this sector has unfortunately been awful. And we get nothing here. Great. We've had just constant empty jumps in this sector. Um, this ship is not very dangerous. We'll put a defensive drone up and we just need to make sure they die. And don't escape. I was going to say, it's a good thing that we've not fought any three shield ships yet, but then we've barely fought any ships at all in this sector. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding? Well, this is what I get for trying to economize on drones. Now we'll have to use extras anyway. Um... Get you out of there. Get the NG and system repair drone to fix that. Do I hack weapons or drones here? I think I hack... Or shields, rather. I think I hack weapons for safety. Yeah, that way we can get another defensive drone up. But this is a big problem. Charge this, actually. It's the slowest weapon. I'm going to wait until after they fire this damn eye on. I can't. Okay. Everyone back to your place. We might be able to crew kill this. I'm not sure whether you get anything extra for crew killing these, because this is like an out-of-fuel event. Nah, we can't crew kill it. We mistimed our shots there. <coughs> okay, we got three fuel. We still don't see a store. But at least we're, we've got fuel. But yeah, we're running a bit low on all of our consumable resources. Okay, we got NG blue option here, good. Still no fucking store. Where's the stores in this sector? They must have been down at the bottom. So the one store I could have got to, I dodged. Oh, do we have three jumps here? It looks like we do, but I'm not 100% certain, and given how low we are on fuel particularly, I'm going to just take two and get out. Forward scout, this ship does have three shields, so we need to hack shields. Great. Wow, and they have that too. Well, this is going to break my repair drone and I can't do anything about it. I guess I can activate the repair drone so we can fix that breach before it dies. Are you kidding? And they dodge crap loads of our shots. I think this ship may legit just run away. And do us a bunch of damage in the process. I mean, we'll have our hack back here. What's on fire? Piloting. Okay, well, the NG will put that out. Yep, they're getting away. There's not much we could do about this. You know, we did the shield hack and fired all our shots, but what can we do about that? So I hope we did have three jumps. A dive would probably kill us, I think. Man, 
Francis get out of there so the repair drone can help. Yeah, that was a real bullshit fight. We used multiple drones and gained nothing. Try to get storage cash. Once again, this ship has three shields, so we have to hack. We're getting really critically low on drones now. Okay, weapons are down. Can't particularly easily damage this ship without hacking shields. Now we're completely safe. At least within this fight. Got another combat drone. Okay, we were just in time. Like, if we could get a drone recovery arm, we could go double combat drones, which would be really, really good. I mean, right now, we couldn't even put them up. Uh, that's absolutely the last thing we can do. So we're going to run out of fuel immediately in the next sector. Uh, we go slug because there's more stores in slug sectors. And we really just need, we need a good store right now. That's all we really need to make this run very, you know, very secure. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. If an enemy has three drones, how the hell do I fight it if I don't do this? if I do this. But at the same time, I kind of feel like we have to. We need to just get the hell away from here. We might have to just avoid fights. We have loads of stuff to sell. Let's upgrade that so we can counter hacks. I think we need to do this as well because there's an event... Actually, does hacking... Actually, no, the hacking blue options don't require you to actually have any drones. So that we don't need to do that. There's the, the boarding blue event where they hack your med bay, and I'm very worried about that because our, you know, anti-boarding obviously sucks. Uh, in fact, I'm going to upgrade my doors. Sector 5 is when they start boarding with more people. So, we go here. We've got a fight. And it's an extremely dangerous fight where we cannot use drones. I should have upgraded engines. For the love of God. If they get a good first volley, I think we'll die here. And that's very, very bad. Well, we've taken one weapon offline. I think we just need to run away. Like, they're going to burn our shields out now. And they've got this big missile as well. We dodged that, at least. Damn it, they cloaked. I should have known they were going to do that. That's a tremendous mistake on my part. I think we're dead. I mean, we can't fix those shields. If we could, if we could activate the repair drone, we could do it. Should I just fire like this and hope everything hits? Yeah, we're dead. I should have upgraded my engines. Maybe we'll escape before they blow us up. Depends on if this hits. It does. Yeah, we're dead. So, yeah, that, 
I mean, maybe we needed to not take that option, and of course, we, we probably should have upgraded our engines and stuff there. I was really hoping for just empty jumps, and instead, like, we not only got a fight, we got a fight against a really, really dangerous ship. I mean, that's... Our, our run so far, you can see, has not been that strong. We made 500 scrap in the first entire half of the game. Our ships defeated to Beacons Explored is 1 in 3. So we had a lot of empty jumps, and I feel like loads of that was in Sector 4. So, unfortunately, that ends our streak at 10. And we will need to restart. So, that's very, very frustrating. I did feel like we were off to a good start with this run. But that last sector was a disaster. So, unfortunately, we go back. So, NGB has ended us. I hope that you enjoyed the run. And I will see you again for the start of the next streak. Bye for now.